Hey guys, Mike Chan just got back to New York from Dubai. I was pretty much eating nonstop every single day. And I promised myself, as soon as I get back, uh, it's time to kind of just cut back a little bit and take it easy on the food. So dinner tonight is gonna be the sponsor of this video, Magic and Cereal, cookies and cream flavor. I've been talking about Magic Spoon for I think a couple of years now. I told you guys, it's not just something I eat for breakfast. A lot of times as a dinner substitute, I'll just eat a bowl of cereal. Especially when I'm looking for something light, high in protein. And each serving of this, there's zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, four net carbs, and only 140 calories. It's also gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and keto-friendly. I told you guys before, I was looking for a kind of healthier cereal because I'm absolutely obsessed with cereal. I seriously, when I was a kid, Saturday morning cartoons and a box of cereal. Yes, a box of cereal. As you get older, obviously, you find out that cereal is basically a box of sugar and uh, not nearly as healthy as that tiger made it out to be. So I found this. It tastes great. There's so many different flavors, like the best-selling cocoa, frosty, fruity, peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, plus other awesome flavors like blueberry and cinnamon. It's never boring. Also, what I love about Magic Spoon, there's a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. So if you want to go build your own variety pack, it'll my link down below. Use my promo code DUMPLING for for five dollars off, we'll just go to magicspoon.com slash dumpling to save five dollars off your order today. And if you're in Canada or the UK, Magic Spoon now ships there too. All right, I'm gonna eat my dinner and enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Mike Chang here in Dubai. One thing I love about this city that I just realized after coming here is that there are a lot of buffets. So definitely we'll try to go to as many as I can while I'm here and today we're starting out with a dim sum buffet. so unlimited, all you can eat dim sum buffets are not common. I don't think a single one of these exists in the US. I've only run into maybe one uh, in all my travels, the second one I've ever seen in the world. And all this is included, all you can eat. And if you wanna pay a little extra, all you can drink as well. So there's mocktails, there's unlimited iced tea. I'm doing this, this looks beautiful. So this place really caught my attention because I mean, it looks so pretty. Colorful dumplings, cute little, I don't know if you guys can see here. Cute little buns. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. They give you a sheet and you just fill out whatever you want. There's gotta be dozens of items here. Ooh, citron beef tripe, cold straight tea, saliva chicken. I want everything, which is a problem because we're going out to another restaurant in a couple hours. Hong Shou, your little tongue. Yeah, hot and sour soup. So beyond dim sum, there's an array of dishes as well. Chili la zi, ge le shen la zi, so spicy chicken, oh my goodness. Chicken wow wow, spicy chicken wings, sweet and sour chicken, tang su ji, sichuan ji rou hun dun. Sichuan spicy wonton, bagogi beef. Oh my gosh. Yes, I need this. And this. Garlic fried rice. Salted fish fried rice. Nyoro cha jiang mian. Hong yo ban mian. Spicy noodles. Yes. Cheese lobster or black pepper lamb. I'm going for the cheese lobster. This is the buns here. Porcupine. So let's do this. Let's just do porcupine. Chicken, oh, truffle mushroom, charcoal golden, smiley lamb, truffle chicken and mushroom soup dumpling. This might turn out to be one of the best all you can eat places I've ever been to. I mean, just from the menu. 
It looks so good. Let's just do this for now because I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. And look at this. Look at all these beautiful drinks. It looks so cool. Can I get this, this I one? This one the feng shui. Feng shui. I'll yeah, take feng shui. Feng shui. We may would like it and limo grass. Yeah. Feng shui, please. First dish to arrive, braised beef soup. This is usually a noodle soup. They just give you the braised beef with radish, some scallions. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that means I'm gonna want everything on this menu. We're not in Dubai. Because of the flight delay, we had to leave Dubai a little early, so I'm gonna try to cram as many restaurants as I possibly can into a day. I would love to just come here, eat everything on the menu, go home and just nap. This is so freaking delicious. I love Hong Xiao anything. It's a soy sauce based sauce or broth. And the flavors are so ridiculously deep. You taste the awesomeness of the beef. Radish is such a great ingredient. You get the fragrance from the scallions. Oh, they got chili oil as well. Drop some hot oil in here. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love this place even more just because they give, it, give you everything in these little dishes, so. Thank God, I, I just want to try everything. And I was afraid like three things in, I start feeling it. Cause I just had a buffet this morning too. Oh, this is good. Oh. This beef is so good. If they just put noodles in here and serve me a bowl of this beef noodle soup, I would be incredibly happy. All I need is a little bit of Chinese vinegar. Even more perfect. This is the lychee drink called um, Fun Shrey. Lemongrass and lychee. Ooh, sour and sweet. So this is the beef, spicy beef tripe. This is the saliva chicken or mouth-watering chicken covered in chilies. Oh, tripe is good. Tender, covered in peanuts. So much heat. Saliva chicken. Chicken is tender, it's had dry on some pieces, but the chili sauce is awesome. Wow. Mm. I can feel the love affair already developing with this place. So other foods have been arriving. The spicy chili chicken. This is the black pepper beef. A little different than what's typically served at them some places. And this is the spicy chicken wonton. And the chili noodles with a little garlic on top. So far, all the dishes have been hitting the mark for me. The noodle texture is great, very al dente. Chili sauce is potent. There's some pickled veggies in here with a hint of sweetness. Mm. Extremely, extremely satisfying. Mm. Pepper beef, this one's a little tough. Maybe 100% taste the black peppers. Oh, last G is good. Crunchy peanuts. The chicken is beautifully juicy and tender. I wish the outside was a little bit more crispy. For all you can eat though, that's pretty darn good. Spicy chicken wontons. That's solid. The wrapper is actually really, really light. Giant piece of chicken inside. The sauce is great. Really spicy chilies with some soy sauce, scallions. Take the noodles, drop some of that pepper beef inside. This is so awesome. You chase it with some cold spicy beef tripe. This buffet. All you can eat, $22. And that includes the cheesy lobster. If I lived in Dubai, this would be a weekly thing for me, at least. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. First of all, multicolored soup dumplings. One, two, three, four, five. Five different flavors of soup dumplings. A mushroom bao, a cute little, I'm forgetting what this is. We'll see when I rip it apart. A porcupine ball, a chicken bowl, different steamed dumplings. And we haven't got to dessert yet. Different types of delicious, cutesy little bows. This is the chicken chashu. 
Mm, sweet and airy. This, of course, is the chicken. It's cute. I'm sorry about this. Mm. I got a hot whale of this. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like that one. I like that one a lot. This is the lamb. It's more like a yellow frog. Now it just kind of looks like a deformed Pac-Man. Truffle mushroom. I know there's no meat in here. I really like this one. I think it's cheese high in here, which is a veggie I love in buns and dumplings. It's fragrant, nice crunch from the mushrooms. Dip it in some of the saliva chicken sauce. Mm. Oh. The cheesy lobster is here. Oh my goodness. Melty cheese over glistening, juicy lobster. This is a type of lobster. It's not sweet. It's more savory and briny. Delicious melted cheese. If you never had a cheese covered lobster, which I know a lot of people have it, it's life changing. Delicate lobster covered with cheese and roasted. Trust me, way better than dipping it in butter. I'm actually super excited to try these soup dumplings. <sighs> They're getting cold, so I'm just jumping right into it. These are freaking delicious. Got my second mocktail. Mm. Oh, this is great. I think it's orange, lychee, and passion fruit. Oh, these soup dumplings are so good. Again, not your traditional type of soup dumplings. Mm. Mm. This is the crab roll one for sure. Every piece, the skin is so soft, and there's plenty of juice inside. The filling is absolutely scrumptious. Add a little chilies, add some black vinegar, which this place will provide you. Mm. It may not look like a traditional soup dumpling on the outside, but there is no mistake in what it is once you take a bite. Mm. Truffle soup dumpling. Oh, so good, so good. I think it's my favorite. I think it's truffle and chicken. Oh, that is so fragrant. I got a green veggie one, purely because I, I kind of wanted to make sure I get one of each color. The green is kimchi and lamb. I never had it, ooh, never had something like that before. A crunchy kimchi. A little gaminess from the lamb, still really, really good. Now to the sweet buns. Oh my gosh, these look delightful. I think it's one of those alien guys from Toy Story. They always did look delicious. Mmm. That's a chocolate lava cake in here. That goes perfect with some tea. Mm. By the way, tea here is awesome. Hello Kitty, everybody's favorite, not a cat. Custard bun. Mmm. Soft, runny, gooey, sweet, salted egg, fluffy bun. One of my favorite dip sum items. Never seen it so cute before. Black sesame panda bun. Oh, that is so nice. A little octopus. Mmm, sweet potato. Very, very good. Angry bird. Filling is chili sweet potato. I mean, it looks cute and sweet, but the chilies really do sweep in and kind of knock your taste buds around a little bit. 
the peach and the sunflower, taro, and I think red bean. Mm, both delicious. Gotta say, the cooked dishes already so good, especially for an all you can eat place. The dumplings and buns just pushed it over the top. This is 100% a must try place. If you are ever in Dubai, I mean, not only because a lot of the dim sum items look so cool, look so cute, but the flavor is fantastic. I said it once, I'll say it again. If I lived in Dubai, be here every single week. And the deal, $22 for. 22. You won't find a place that's gonna give you truffle soup dumplings and a cheesy lobster in a menu of dozens of food items for 22 bucks. And that's including everything. All right, I was trying to hurry, so kind of jumping around the dishes, trying to finish the dishes that were gonna get cold the fastest first. Now, ah, we get another bowl of tea and uh, enjoy my Sunday dim sum meal. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.